Aquarius, welcome to the Winds of Jupiter, February 2018 Tarot Reading. Now you received the Burkano Rune, which is equal to the Empress card for growth, fertility, new beginnings. I think this card too is signifying some type of awakening for you. Because the overall energy card that you received was justice. And I think you've been weighing a lot of things out and seeing a lot of new things. That's making you wake up to some changes in the way you feel about things. And even the way you react to things. Now the Justice card usually says that something's been out of balance. That's now going back into balance. There's some kind of truth that readjusted things because she is holding the sword of truth. There is some aspects of accountability for your behavior or maybe others around you. Court proceedings that says now if they're occurring could go your way. One thing you have to realize when you see the justice card is that it does require you to make some decisions to keep things in balance. Now this does epitomize Libra. So maybe there's a Libra in your life that's making a difference right now, or a big actor, anyway. Now the cards on the left, for what you know, you receive the Empress and the Ace of Wands. Now the Empress is equal to the Burkano Rune card that I pulled that's just right above it. There's fertility and new beginnings. Some enjoyment of life coming into it. She is about the senses of smell, hearing, taste, sex. She can be about healing and renewal. And the Ace of Wands is fire energy. It's bringing in creativity and determination. A promise for new things to come, new ventures, which goes right along the line of the Burkano and the Empress cards. The Wands could be a really spiritual card where it's giving the cosmos a green light for you to move on in your life, to do some new things, new beginnings. Now there's some endings coming up because the cards next door for what is or can be yours. You see the world and the Four of Pentacles. Now the world card is about cycling through something. You're at the end of a cycle. And you're ready to accept some new challenges. You've learned a lesson. You went through all of the other major arcana cards to get spit out the other end saying, yeah, I'm going to graduate you from this particular thing that you had to learn. But you know, the Four of Pentacles is usually a card that says it's about security, financial security. But this card also is about hanging on to something that no longer is serving you anymore. And you might hold yourself back from this world card graduation if you can't get rid of something that is no longer necessary in your life. Now this card on the other hand can say that you have acquired some type of security in your life to make you feel accomplished and comfortable. But you are starting something new with all of these cards for the Wand, the Ace of Wands, the Empress and the Burkano card. You're making a lot of decisions right now too with the Justice card. Now the cards for yourself or self-awareness. Receive the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Now the Six of Pentacles is a giving and receiving card and completely connects to the Judgment card. This is about a fulcrum and balancing things out and weighing things. A lot of times, though, it's a very complicated card because giving and receiving is a very complicated exercise. It's really hard to balance that out. Sometimes you give too much and people take advantage of you. And sometimes you give too little. And that puts you back with the Four of Pentacles. Where you can be a miser, because that card, the Four of Pentacles, is considered the miser card. Now it's telling you, you have to find some balance and make sure you maintain some balance. Because the Two of Cups is about balancing your emotions, 
balancing your partnerships, balancing your decisions to make right decisions, to go down the right path. This can be spiritual here, I could see. There's some kind of a spirituality involved in this. And I don't know why I'm so... Oh, yes, I do. There it is. You've got the temperance card, and you've got the judgment card, too, in the future. Temperance is telling you to have some moderation. Utilize that guidance that, I don't know, somebody in the backdrop is giving you. Angel. Somebody you knew in a prior life. Somebody that now has deceased. Maybe a, a deceased past master of some sort. But it's going to bring in some healing. And this judgment card, too, is about healing and forgiveness. About finding your higher self and prevailing over all the petty little crap that can happen in life. The judgment card wants you to be the phoenix and rise out of the ashes to renew yourself. This is redemption, resurrection. You're being given an opportunity to be a new self. And the justice card is there for you to take a real candid look at what you're doing inside and out and how you're dealing with people in your surroundings. Now I think you're feeling pretty good about all that because the next card is the Three of Wands and this is a motion card. This is a card where you've made decisions and now you're starting to move forward. Whatever plans that you had made previous to this then the decisions that you have made. And now with these new beginnings, the wheels are starting to turn. But the Queen of Swords is there to make you honest. She's a no-nonsense woman. She wants you to use logic and reason and rational reasons for the re why you're making some of the de these decisions. She doesn't want you to use emotions to dictate where you're going next in life because a lot of times when you use emotions you're making the wrong decisions. But here you have the Three of Cups where it's saying, yeah, you're going to be celebrating if you make these right decisions. You're going to be feeling really good about things but it's going to be a shared celebration, a communal celebration. Because joy and love is meant to be shared. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.